and share screen. Okay. Uh, move you guys over. All right. So I was telling Wendell earlier, I've been playing around with a with a new app that is available for the Mac, but it's only for the newer chips, the M1 and the M2, that someone uh, wrote uh, for the artificial art. And uh, it's, let me just open it here. It's called the Fusion B. Mm. Uh, so that's only for, for the likes of your new computer? Yeah, it's for an M1 or M2 chip, otherwise I'd tell you to go get it, but uh, I don't know if it'll work on the older models. Oh, goodness, it's downloading. You know, that may take a while. Here, I'll show you some examples in the meantime. Hmm. That's weird. They must have just updated the models. But like... Okay. Um, yeah, let me just start at the bottom. So this is called... Just... It, it's called Diffusion B, but it uses Stable Diffusion, which is one of the uh, um, AI um, generators that are available. There's, there's um, Stable Diffusion, Mid Journey, and a couple others. Um, oh, okay. DAL E, which is D A L L E. Yeah, I, I think uh, Mid Journey has some pretty nice ones too. But here, I'll show you. It doesn't do very big images. Uh, the biggest I can go is 768 pixels square, but uh, yeah, let me just put it over here so you can see. And uh, you can kind of just see what I what I put in there and what I got a lot. Okay. Text descriptions. Uh, and the eyes, I think, are still lacking a little bit. Mm -hmm. What's interesting. Now, do you tell the computer what kind of a picture you want, like an ocean picture or something like that, or is it? Yeah, yeah. So, like on this one, I said close-up face shot of a beautiful red-headed woman. Oh, I see. oh, okay. So that's where. Yeah. I keep okay, so that's yeah, that's your instructions there. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Oh, huh. yeah. And then this next one. Oh okay. wow. Yeah, that's, that's really good. Yeah, I like the the softness of it. Yeah, yeah. It, it almost and what about the positioning and and just it does the whole thing there, doesn't it? Just yeah, it just spits it out as soon as this thing's done loading. I can show it to you, but it looks like it's going to be a while. Uh, uh, yeah, here's and, another one. I just uh, did a forest scene with a person walking. Hmm. Here's another one. I I I just another. See, the other thing is it, it, you can't re, at least on this particular engine you can't repeat something. So I hit the same you know string of text again and I got this. So those are you know, different. <laughs> you know, with just the yeah. same input. You know. Wow. Yeah. It was kind of random. Yeah. Yeah. Very. And then this one I did uh, story sea of deep blue color, huge waves mm. and foam. So, so that's the largest image you can get from it. Uh, I think the largest goes. Let's now. Well, let me do it. I think it's seven sixty eight pixels. This is five twelve. I found it worked a little quicker with the five twelve. And then here's a couple of fishery mm. variations I did. So, so what's your personal opinion in that, you know, given your, where you came from, what you did, what's your personal opinion on this kind of technology? I find it fascinating. I, I, I just wish it was more controllable and I wish I had a better handle on it. So I can show yeah. you some images that some of the other people have done that really know what they're doing and, and they're quite fascinating. Hmm. You know, I, I think at the very least for doing objects and backgrounds and things uh, and then, uh, you know, uh, composing them into your own art would be really neat. Yeah. You know, and I guess it's drawing from a huge database of yeah. photos. That millions. Of, yeah, millions and millions of them. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. I had this one, I just said Da Vinci Anatomy, and that's what it gave me. Oh. 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 
Very cool. I spent about five minutes in that uh, journey one, and and I really didn't get anywhere. I didn't have the, I didn't, I wasn't getting into it. I, I was looking for a quick response from it, and I, I didn't really get it. So I think I'm no, it's a curve. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess it's all in the prompts you give it. Yeah. You know, in the text, there's there's that one. Uh, yeah, I think you can really get more controlled area. Now, see this one I just said: rainforest backlit with rain falling. Mm. That's what I got. Mm. So that's the interface. Um, Amazing. Yeah. So basically, you just put this in. You you give the height and width. Uh, it goes up to fifty steps and eight as the guidance scale, which I'm not sure. So, what so you could. So you could kind of bring this into Photoshop and, and yeah. drop other stuff into it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that would be pretty easy to do. Of course, this one doesn't go very big. So um, the other thing I, I haven't quite figured out yet is why it clips images, you know, it doesn't crop them. Oh, yeah. Because I said centered in frame and <laughs> oh. <laughs> certainly not. Uh -huh. Yeah, so. Yeah, so there's, it's got a few bugs in it, but yeah. Now that was another version with, the, with uh, I added nose, eye and nose, and that kind of brought it mm. in. You know, so I moved it over a little bit and, and backed out a little bit. Yeah, so that's what I got so far from playing around with it. Um, I can show you quickly a couple people on Instagram, like, this guy kind of intrigued me because he's using the same woman's face over and over again. Mm. And he's able to just do all kinds of different things with her from, from very mm. uh, realistic to um, kind of cartoony stuff like this. Mm. Mm. But the, uh, the quality is pretty amazing. Oh, okay. Amazing. Uh, wow. Yeah. So. Wow. Yeah. I guess when you know what you're doing, it's uh, yeah. It seems that a lot of uh, the uh, somewhere here I got. Well, let me just put a mid journey. You know, I'm, yeah, there's just endless styles and variations. Mm -hmm. different things but uh, some of the people that know what they're doing are getting some pretty yeah. interesting things yeah. like, yep. even at, like a comic style yeah yeah it seems like a lot of these guys are going for you know the medieval or the fantasy and uh, right. steampunk yeah. stuff and that sort of thing yeah. so, so, so talk, you know talking about this kind of thing I don't know if I mentioned this when we initially talked about it but I saw the the making of Avatar Two, uh -huh. the movie. I don't know if you've seen that. No, it is no. absolutely amazing. I mean, it's just built around all this. I'm sure yeah, it is. Imagine. Yeah. Here, let's just open one like this. Just. Uh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Yeah. You know these right. uh, look kind of like the. When you open up Lightroom or Photoshop, they've got uh, opening screen, mm -hmm. you know, very uh, unique uh, image, and uh, almost looks like some of these might have generated. Yeah, yeah, could be. Yeah, some of these mixed media are kind of interesting too. Oh yeah, oh. <laughs> looks like some Jerry Merriams. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, is, yeah. is she even real? <laughs> yeah, right. No. Yeah. And they hit the Day of the Dead and a little bit of everything. But yeah, a lot of this kind of stuff, you know, medieval yeah. or, you know, Game of Thrones kind of, or skulls. There's a lot of skulls. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. But, uh, it's just really, I mean, just sort of the detail in this armor. Yeah. 
But like you were saying there, Sandy, so if you generated something and then you wanted to enhance it or build upon it, can you do that or? Oh yeah, it... yeah, it's like okay. any other image. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you could go back in and, and build upon something that you previously created or? Yeah, you could, uh, or bring it in Photoshop or, or Neo or any of your other editing tools and, and go from there. Hmm. There's also, um, let me go back up. There's an architecture one too, which is kind of interesting. Let's see. Maybe it's architecture. Midway down there. Yeah, yeah there. You know, fantasy architecture. Kind of interesting too. Oh. Oh. The detail's amazing. Yeah. Goodness sake. So I guess it's just uh, <laughs> how well you can, uh, you know, uh, learn the different props to get what you need. Yeah, and oh. go from there. But, you know, a lot of variations. Anyway, let's see if this uh, this is done loading. No, it's only halfway. All right. Well, I guess we can start and. Check back on this a little bit later. All right. Well, let's see what you got this week, Alan. Okay. Uh, oh, neat. Uh, thanks. Oh. I, um, uh, the camera club that I'm in here in Calgary, I, I was doing a presentation on, on Saturday and, and back to the basics kind of thing. Uh-huh. And we followed it up with a with a little walkabout on Sunday morning, and I wanted to put on. <clears throat> I had a I've got a fifty millimeter lens. I rarely use, but it's a it's a one point four. So I threw it on my camera, and 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 the reason why I don't normally use it is because on my Z camera, my new camera, it's it's only uh, manual focus. Oh. Anyways, oh, got, okay. got it out, stuck it on, and I just was clicking a few things, and then I thought, oh, I'll try these paintbrushes here. So oh. I did that, and I was actually really impressed with it. Yeah. <laughs> so so the, the one that you see here, though, I, I, I put it into that topaz and did that concrete on chalk, I believe. It was a oh. filter. Okay. Oh, nice. And I just loved the way it came out. And, yeah. yeah. I just thought I'd bring it in. The only one that masked off was the, that brush in the center that's... Mm -hmm. that's yeah. Yeah, that's now, the dark, dark image, the, there's a dark part of the image to the right-hand side. And I was in two minds to try and uh, crop that out, but I kind of liked the way it was yeah. in there, to be honest. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, yeah, it seems balanced as far as uh, yeah I did try and subject. crop it and, it and it didn't look right anymore so I just put it back mm -hmm. yeah yeah you've got a textured surface almost looks like you're filming or taking the picture through a, a, a glass a frosted yeah. glass or something that's quite a neat effect well I was I was actually really amazed with this little lens it's uh mm -hmm. It's, uh, you know, 1.4 is pretty wide open, so. Yeah. yeah. Really, the, the, about the only one that was in focus was that brush. I mean, that's what I zeroed in on, yeah. so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. A nice feature, nice effect. Yeah, I like that. Thanks. So wh what do you guys think of that side, the dark side, do you think this? Um, oh. You might feather this a little bit. You know, you yeah. could do that really easily with um, with a clone brush at a very yeah. low density. Yeah, I just saw that uh, woman in the uh, 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> they did on Photoshop. She does look like a journey, doesn't she? Uh, yeah. Uh, here, let's just make this uh, full screen. Close our history here. Um, I'm just going to add another layer and clone on that layer in case I goof up or do anything. And then I'm going to go to my clone tool by hitting S. And uh, I'm going to make a pretty pretty good size one. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, something like that might be good. Okay. And I'm going to take it down to 20% by pushing two. So that's your flow there. And mm -hmm. then I'm just going to grab here and kind of bring it over. Now, yeah, even two is a little bit much. Let's try 10%. Yeah. Yeah, you could just kind of blow some of this stuff in there. All right, just mm -hmm. kind of, oh. right. Mm -hmm. Just to kind of spread it out. Yeah. There you go, you know, something like that. Okay, yeah. Just yeah. to carry the color, that will get rid of the black, and then you, you got the rest of it down here already, so. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll just take a little more in there. Good, so good. You reset right. your pickup and your destination, it'll, uh, Yes. Kind of get rid of this, any repeats you might have. There you go. Yeah. Like that. and that's a little dark there. So maybe we'll just take a little bit of that. There you go. Yeah. Mix it a little with that. That's what I'm going to do. Very good. Yeah. Pretty easy to do. Yeah. It just, yeah, it just didn't look right cropping it off. Right. So that's why. Yeah. yeah. No, I agree. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so again, out uh, in a little walkabout, and this is a little park setting down in downtown Calgary. Actually, it's quite amazing, and uh, I found this chair. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I thought it uh, it looked really cool. So now it has. Um, what did I do there? I I think this was in. Um, these neural filters in Photoshop oh. that, that put this effect on the, the foliage there. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I, so I just love the. No, was that chair where it is, or did you place it? No, nope, that's where it was. I, <laughs> uh, Someone was out in the weeds. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. Well, it's just really off the pathway. So it's not a lot far off, but. Yeah. I mean, maybe just sitting there, it didn't really appear to belong to anybody. So, mm -hmm. but I, I just liked the way it was. And, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, Very nice. Yeah. Just uh, something a little different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if you look and look close to it, the chair, that it puts some really nice texture uh, oh, on, yeah. on the chair itself. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And down through here, yeah. It's interesting the way this stuff went kind of cool in little blotchy areas. Yeah. yeah. Kind of guides your eye through, and then you get this real warm to go against it. Yeah. Then you're back to the cool again. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Nice. I wonder if maybe yeah. tone this side down a little bit to, or, or maybe brighten this up a little bit just to kind of pull your eye here more. To keep right. it Okay. Keep wanting to go over here. Yeah, maybe maybe just tone this down here. Maybe put a little uh, gradient filter in the top there. Yeah, or you can even just do it with a brush. Um, you yeah. know, um, you know, with the local. Uh, flip back the camera on because you got the local filters and uh, just uh, just grab a brush and make it. Uh, yeah. Probably big like that and soft and just kind of oops, hang on, turn off. Where have I got it? Auto mask, so you don't get that mess. There you go. Oh, okay. All right, and then you can take the negative by hitting the uh, option or Alt key, and then uh, you know just kind of bring it back the way you want. Sometimes I tend to just let it overspray and then. Bring yep. it Bring it back after I do the correction mm. to see mm. if it's an issue. So here, let's try the highlights first. Kind of bring those down and bring the whites down a bit. 
Yeah, maybe right. some blacks. Oh, there we go. But now right. you see it's getting a little dark there. So maybe, and then while well, you've got that all key down, you can put, pick like maybe three or four to have 30 or 40 percent and uh, just kind of wisp it out there. Yeah. And then you can do the same coming back. You know, you could say maybe I want 20 percent and, you know, just blend it back a little bit. And then, there you, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Did the vegetation grow up right around this chair, uh, or was that something that you're? Uh, I think the the chairs, like I said, the chairs is is very close to the pathway. So, uh, I think somebody just sat it down there. I'm not sure. Maybe it was. I don't know. Maybe it was an artist that was going to paint something. I'm not sure, but uh, oh, there was nobody around, and and it was yeah. What you see there is other than the altered state of the foliage. <laughs> uh -huh. oh, yeah. like. Okay. So now that we're here, I, I'm going to just create another mask, and I'm going to select the brush, and then I'm going to turn um, auto mask back on again. I'm going to make sure my density is all the way back up again. All right. And um, I'm just going to pick the yellow areas here. Make it a little small. If you keep that center around it, anywhere in that circle that's got that color, it's going to grab it. Grab it. Yeah. Yeah. So you can just kind of click your way down. Make sure you get, or just hold down. And there you go. Okay, they were just yeah. gonna, they just do a little bit, oops, too much. And just a little bit there. Okay, so now maybe we, want, we might wanna brighten this up a little bit. There we go. Maybe mm. just put a little black in there, get some shape. Yeah, I think that pulls you into it a little more. Yeah, it sure does, yeah. Yeah, so maybe it's a little too much, something like that. There you go. So, so basically, so that's your before and that's your after. A little more balanced. Right. Okay. Good. Are you ready? Yeah, those, those masks with and without the auto mask feature really nice tools yeah the yeah local corrections wow like that <clears throat> so yeah this is a suspension bridge going over the river oh and not very many people look up <laughs> <laughs> but i uh yeah this, so this is looking at the the structure holding the bridge up so mm -hmm. I did um, I did change the colors in it a little bit as you can see, and I put a gradient in it from left to right, mm -hmm. and uh, I just I like the way it came out. So yeah. yeah, it came out nice. Is this the same bridge you shot underneath? Oh, no, no, oh, no. Okay. This is another one. one. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Well, it's nice to have a choice of bridges there. <laughs> oh, there's lots of bridges. Yeah, it's quite a lot. <laughs> Excellent. Well, that's very graphic. I like that. Yeah. I think the color was a good move. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was a nice, it was all right, you know, but these, you know, the warmer color and the and the steel there makes it look better, I think. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. excellent. Yeah, that's, we can do a thing with that. That's working. Good, thanks. Now this uh, <laughs> this started off as a an experiment with uh, photo pills. Um, yeah. So there's a clock tower, or a, or a church tower, just across the road from where we live here, and <clears throat> I thought it'd be nice to get a shot of the harvest moon right above it. So I was looking at photo pills and checking it out and you know it's an amazingly accurate uh program and yeah. 
So th this is the way that this is where the moon was uh, exactly the right time that it said it was going to be at. But it wow. was just like an ordinary photo, right? It was a big white globe. And and to be honest with you, it was that's two weeks ago now. So I can't quite remember what I did with this, but um it it turned out like a real like a kind of postcard type look to it. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very painterly too. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice illustrative quality. I, I I worked on it quite a few different things on it. So it was in two or three different programs. Um, I believe uh, Topaz was probably one of the main ones. Mm -hmm. Now I did, I did try a few variations with a more detailed moon, uh, but it didn't look right. So mm. ah, yeah. Now, these little flecks you got in here, I yep. think they're from the white canvas background. And if if you scroll down in whatever, you were probably using an impression or something like that. Right. Yeah, if you scroll down to the bottom where it has texture, let me let me just see here. I'm just going to grab this. OK. See if I can remember where it is. Because I had that happen before, too. And um, I, I saw... thought it was part, part of the thing, you know, part of the filter. It is, it, yeah, but you can control it, which is kind of nice. Oh, I yeah. So let me see, where is it? Creative. Yeah, I think it was impression, right? Yeah, yeah. if you go down to the bottom where it says texture. Yeah. And, and let me see if I can. Ah, no, background. Here it is. See, this is Spiker. background type. Solid, it's going to be this white color, see? Right. But if you put original on there, whatever is in the photograph will fill in those spots. Oh, see, oh. yeah, I filled it in. Yeah. Hmm. So all you have to do is change that, and then you can still get the blend modes and all the other stuff you want to do with, uh, with the brushes and such. You know, so, like, if you want to get crazy with this and do whatever you're going to do. Um, you know, um, you won't get all that white behind it. Huh? So just okay. remember to do that. If, uh, if right. you're painting and you're starting to see that white in the back, okay. or if you want to leave it, you can just change the color to something that'll work with. Like if you go back to solid, you could just change the color to something else. You know, maybe you might want to change it to a, you know, a purple or something, you know, and that could work. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you've got those two options. Didn't even well, obviously didn't know about that. So yeah, interesting. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. So so what do you think of that? Is it? It looks a little bit different, doesn't it? it just yeah. Yeah. To me, yeah, I like it. Some... Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ah. Oh, nice. Nice sculpture. Yeah. Now, that's a fantastic sculpture. Now, uh, I, I, I took this particular shot probably at least maybe a year, maybe two years ago. Uh, and this is in an area, it's called Native Gardens. It's in this Fish Creek Park area that we go to. And the reason I was searching that a little bit more because that's where I was taking this group on Sunday morning for this outing. And I just kind of wanted to refresh myself a little bit. So I pulled up this some of the images that I'd taken a while ago, and this was one of them. And then I thought, well, you know what? This would look really cool if we were to go there at night and and, oh. and light them up. Mm. And and then I got to thinking and said, well, why don't I just put a black get background around this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's what came up. So nice. Yeah, nice. I, I like yeah, I like your select focus too. Yeah, it yeah. works nicely. I'm maybe fabulous. you can darken this up just a hair. You know, just enough okay. so be, because you know her skin's pretty dark anyway. You think and, even... and you can kind of bounce back and forth around this stuff, and you know these wouldn't be so prominent. Okay. Yep. That's the only suggestion. But what a beautiful sculpture! Yeah, it really is. And a nice take on it. Well done. Thank you. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, Wendell. 
Okay. Oops, hang yeah. on. Oh. Okay. Minor. <laughs> there we go. All right. I'll get them all this time. I guess that one wants to come up on us. Well, okay. Yeah. All right. I'll start with that one. All right. Let me Oops. just uh, close these and do this one. Okay. Um, this is the one Sandy that you saw in the black and white. Um, mm -hmm. This is old bar in Cerritos, New Mexico. We were back there a few weeks ago. And I'd taken the picture with the idea of black and white, which is the first thing I did on it. But then I thought I'd try to see what happened if I continued uh, with the color. And this is mostly uh, the result of the Topaz uh, oil painting one um, look and it's backed off to 50 percent but uh, it did make it a little different that blue roof right over in by the mary's bar sign came up much brighter than that uh, oil painting mm -hmm. option than it was originally and to the left there the under the roof that el viejo uh, sign came out much better, so it almost made it a different picture to do it in color. So yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, anyways. yeah, it's got a, a nice graphic feeling too. Yeah, yeah. You get the depth, but it's almost starting to look flat because of all the colors mm -hmm. and uh, solid yeah. colors. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Anyway, it uh, turned out much more colorful in the real life. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and this almost looks like you know the old sponge painting type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that uh, I guess it's just the way the the topaz uh, look worked on it. Although those were kind of uh, almost a fake looking tree mm -hmm. in the original image. I guess fine neat, uh, leaves or something. Yeah, made them look that way. Mm -hmm. Very cool. All right. Let's, uh, so that was number five. Let's turn that one off and open the rest of them. There we go. Okay. Actually, before we get into this one, uh, it was the Topaz line on ink I'd done on the Mar okay. Mary's bar. I'm I was looking at my wrong note here. <laughs> okay. So anyway, that made it more uh, unique than the oil painting. Anyway, this was uh, in Taos, just uh, a mural on a wall. It was much bigger than this, but I just uh, cropped it down to the, the main message, which I think is love and peace. And it kind of uh, a little banner wrapped around what looks like a heart, mm -hmm. blood vessels in it. Uh, that was oh, okay. a rather neat little uh, mural that was almost uh, hidden on the side of a building, just happened to see it walking down the street. Good catch. Uh, anyway, yeah, mostly the artistic parts all by somebody else. I just made a photo of it. And let's see, that one is um, just Lightroom and Photoshop, a little touch up on it and not much manipulation. Mm -hmm. it, I think it's in the shade, so that's why it's kind of a bluish tone. Ah, so you got a cool light on it. Yeah. Yeah, you can kind of see it in the neutral colors here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are some little scratches down there or something on the wall. I didn't thought about taking them out and didn't. Yeah, I, I, that was my first thought too, was to take them out, but I, I kind of like it because it kind of weathers it and mm -hmm. makes it yeah. look a little yeah. more realistic. So yeah, that was a good call. Yeah. Fun. All right. Okay. Okay. Now this is just kind of a fun thing, but I'd call an optical delusion. Yeah. <laughs> this is after a few tequilas. Yeah. <laughs> And this is in Taos, right down at the main intersection in town. But um, 
this artist has painted this scene on the wall and on the right side there, he's got the perspective of the wall coming out and the little arch, but that's all painted on a big flat side of this building. It's actually a little mini mall with tourist shops. But uh, anyway, I took this from clear across the street hmm. and I hadn't even seen it walking on the street, but then I got back far enough I could actually see it. Hmm. Is that little? Is that in the little square downtown? Yeah, it's. Oh well, it's not right at the plaza. It's right on the main highway coming through and the uh, Kit Carson Road. I think it is intersection. Uh, oh yeah, I can see the center kind of, yeah. where the big stoplight is that mm -hmm. uh, causes all the traffic jams. <laughs> I don't think they had stoplights when I was there. <laughs> I think it was in the seventies. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. If you haven't been there oh, since wow. then, yeah, yeah, yeah it's wow. a, I think a lot busier. I'll bet. But yeah, it, it's what I call a center of Taos, uh, mm -hmm. and so. But anyway, I think this building is fairly new. It probably wasn't even there in the seventies. Ah, okay. Because I don't remember it from years ago mm. either. Yeah, I just remember walking into that hotel off the main plaza and there was an oh, yeah. old gentleman in there. And he must have been in his 80s back then that uh, was one of the caretakers. I guess it was his family that had it. And uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> he's just been out here for about an hour with all these different stories. It was a lot of fun. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that's the La Fonda Hotel. Exactly. Yeah, La Fonda. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah I thought about staying there, but it actually it's Really pricey. I'll bet. Out. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful lobby. Yeah. 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 Been into the lobby. Anyway. Right. Anyway, this is about a block up from that. I'd say. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got to get back there. Oh, yeah. That's uh, one place. Yeah. We do go to Santa Fe quite a bit, but somehow we never have time to get to Towers. Oh, yeah. A little bit further on, isn't it? So, yeah, yeah. Well, right, usually yeah. we're going that direction anyway because we're, we're driving up to Colorado. But yeah, somehow we always run out of yeah. time. I guess it's well, all galleries in Santa Fe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway, well, this is just one. Uh, this also right in Taos. Um, the I just kind of like the way they had this entry built up there. Mm -hmm. I just took a rather plain building and built this nice um, roof and columns and everything around it. So, yeah. Is it a museum or? Uh, like there's a... I think it's just a, well, it's got a, I think the turquoise trail or something uh, sign on it uh, there, but I think it's mostly just a gallery. Uh, a gallery. Of some sort, mm -hmm. yeah. And I'd take some electrical lines out and things yeah. like that. But, yeah. uh, I like this line here, though. It reiterates the roof. Yeah, I don't. Um, it must be in the stucco. Yeah. And the quite the, yeah, 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 the yeah, and the stucco too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it's kind of curved there. I, I don't think that was the camera caused that. But, no, no. I probably could have skewed it straight, but I didn't. Yeah. But anyway, that's just one of the little things I saw walking around the street. This was right by that uh, Amour de Paz mural. Yeah. I like the fact you left this in instead of cropping right to the building. It gives you a little. Yeah. Power. Yeah, I think it's an air conditioning unit or something on the roof back yeah. there. Yeah, but yeah, I didn't want to try taking it out. No. So. Nice. Anyway. Yeah, it just adds a little more shape and interest. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, this this one, I, don't know. I think you'd seen the black and white of this mm -hmm. uh, Pecos National Monument, the ruins of the old church, and. Uh, again, I think it's one I mostly took looking to make a black and white out of it, but then thought I'd see what I could do if I 
went into the topaz. And this is the one that's uh, the oil painting look, which mm. uh, took away a lot of the detail in the, the bricks on the sloping wall, but did make it, uh, I think, overall more dramatic. Yeah, the leading lines are great. Yeah. Yeah, and then those uh, little beams sticking out to the right there. Yeah. And, and this was uh, backed off 50% on the oil painting mm -hmm. yeah. filter. Yeah. yeah, I like the way these lead in. And then you've mm -hmm. got these coming out too. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, without even knowing what it is, it's kind of an interesting shape. Yeah. It oh, sure yeah. is. I'm trying to picture what it would have been like when yeah. it was uh, old. So, yeah, yeah, when it was complete. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. they did have, uh, I guess it was graphic uh, interpretations of what they thought it looked like. But, you know, mm -hmm. uh, actually, it's the second church that was built on this site. It was wow. a big one, and then that uh, fell down, I guess, or burned or something. And they built this smaller one, and even now it's gone. They're almost gone. Now, do they use some of the bricks from the ruins to construct the new one? Or I, would I think they did. Yes, I think yeah, they used some of the walls. Yeah, and, they um, usually cannibalize them a bit. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, and then built the whole thing smaller, so they probably had more material. Yeah, that's an unusual shape for for an older building, isn't it? With these that curved. It's almost spherical at the bottom right hand corner there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's over no. to over the here. left. Uh, yeah, oh. just yeah, yeah, oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's almost uh, spherical. These are their kind of buttresses, I guess. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, like the, the big whole area here. I think just right. uh, yeah, hold this up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It bulbs out this way too. Yeah. I was thinking maybe of taking this out, but it kind of adds a little interesting oh. look to it. I, I just yeah. Like, yeah, I think it must be a little part of the wall. Yeah, behind. yeah. But sticks out. Yeah, nice. Okay, thank you. Got a nice effect too. Yeah, uh, yeah. The painting did all all this grass and stuff in the foreground. It didn't look very good as a straight photo. But the oil painting kind of smudged it up a bit and mm -hmm. made it look better. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Bring those in. Let me uh, let's see if our what program's starting up yet. Yeah, it looks like it's all loaded up now. Somebody want to okay. give me some text and I'll type it in? Go ahead, Wendell. Mush mushrooms in a dark forest. Okay, mushrooms. Yeah, lit lit a lit mushrooms in a deep forest or something. Forest and and what else? Or illuminated mushrooms in a dark forest, and there's a reason for me doing that. So. <laughs> illuminated from top, back, side. Uh, from the top, yeah. From the top. Above. Hmm. All right. I don't know if we're going to see it from above, but we'll see what, how that gets interpreted. <laughs> All right. And the reason I'm asking that, I, I'm, I've got this little uh, project I'm trying to, I did it a couple of years ago, but I'm going to go back to it and try and find these mushrooms and, and try and do this shot. So. Oh, I did kind of do them from above a little bit. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's kind of odd. All right, let's look at advanced options. So yeah, we're at 512. And uh, I don't know, let me up the steps and just see if that does anything. But again, if I hit generate, it's going to do something completely different. Oh, um, let me make it a little bigger too. I'll make it 640 square. You, you already want a rectangle. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll make it square. All right. You're going to be blowing it up anyway. Uh, I suppose you could use that enhance in Photoshop or Lightroom to make it 200% bigger. So at least you got a mm. 
I've been using that uh, AI photo in the uh, uh, luminar for a lot, couple of shots. Mm -hmm. Have you tried that? Not too much. There's oh, that is totally different. Yeah. yeah. Is that a keeper for you? Uh, not really. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, I'm going to save it just in case it gets worse. <laughs> Yeah. All right, let's try one more. It's funny that the first one had all those green. Yeah, uh, there were uh, mushrooms that were not ripe or what. Or little trees. This I don't one, know. It was yeah, yeah. Kind of weird. Yeah, but this one it was, it it was, was more, more pure. Yeah, it was more illustrative looking. I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That's much better. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to try and find the image that I'm going to try and create. And yeah. I'll now, share now that later, they've got this image, the image where you can input an image, see it's coming soon. Oh, okay. And it'll okay. vary from that. So we'll see how that okay. works. All right. Wendell, you, Wendell, you got any ideas? Well, I was just thinking about automobile crossing a bridge. Um, Maybe sunset lighting, or if that's an option. Yeah. Let's say photorealistic too. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see what that does. Ooh, I didn't keep that second one for you, but I don't know if it was much better than the first one. Yeah, it's, oh, wow. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it, that they uh, got the bend in the bridge. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> huh. So let's let's let's, yeah. let's change it to the 57 Chevy and see what happens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. With this, who needs a camera? Yeah, I know. That's what people are saying. Although I think with the, the painters, when the cameras came, were saying the same thing. Oh, yeah. They're going to ruin our business. But yeah, especially the portrait guys. Oh, there you go. No, not, ex not exactly. Yeah. Looks a little, looks a little squared up. But, yeah. But you can see it's got some potential. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah. Well, it looks like this system would be good for creating uh, backdrops if you have yeah. some object like a vase or or a person that you want some yeah. kind of yeah strange background this yeah. would be a way to get that yeah so let's say a brushed canvas background with soft folds let's see what that does Nah. <laughs> oh. I don't think so. So no. hmm. yeah. huh. oh. not, not, hmm. not quite. Well, uh, I guess it mid journey and the other ones where they've got the uh, huge servers with gazillions mm. of images seem to do a much better job mm. than this but i thought this would be fun just to download and see how it worked natively mm. it generates pretty quick and, and what happens is uh i'll turn on my activity monitor here you can see that that's the cpu and this is the uh, well here here's the the cpus you know i've got multi cores but this is the graphics card and you can see it's all graphic card intensive much as soon as you kick this thing off it, uh, it really starts kicking the graphics card. Mm. There it goes. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so that's that. Um, let's see. I pull up some stuff I've been working on. I'll show you some of the buildings from Chicago and some of the places we visited. Turn off my. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so 
that was at the Art Institute. Uh, let me get to my clear collection here. Yeah. So, like I said, my brother is up on the 21st floor. Oh. He's facing west. So I got up about 5.30 in the morning to um, nice. look yeah. around. And that was the reflection of the sunrise behind us from the east mm -hmm. on the building Amazing. to the west. I thought that was oh. kind of cool. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Then uh, this is uh, a walk way over the uh, Illinois Central uh, inside the Art Institute. And I, they, mm. they carved out some windows since I was there. Uh, mm. We just kind of remodeled it and uh, yeah. left some of the uh, girders as art, I guess. And so I just grabbed a shot of that. I thought it was kind of interesting. Yeah. Yeah. The grivets. Mm hmm. This building over here, they call the wave. It kind of undulates back and forth. It's kind of neat. I did oh, get over there. I, I should have got under it and got a, you know, a shot of the wavy layers. It's kind of cool. Did miss that. And then this is a Millennium Park. Oh, yeah. big, big glass things that shoot out uh, water from here and off the top. So just got a shot of them with a little boy. Yeah. Does it does the graphic change or yeah? Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. They do. There's different different faces. They they keep projecting. Yeah. This is like a glass block, and it projects from inside. It's kind of yeah. cool. Yeah. And a little flare there. Kind of like that. Yeah. They don't, but that one seemed to work. Yeah. And this was one oh, of the bridges in Chicago, <laughs> uh, <laughs> over Damon Avenue, and it, I just kind of. Kind of liked it, and we were kind of sitting in traffic, and this guy was pedaling along. And mm. said, "It'd be good to catch him with it." And I, <laughs> I didn't even notice the shadow until afterwards. I looked at it. Oh yeah, really cool. Yeah. Yeah, Very so, good. Yeah. yeah, you can kind of see the city in the background. There's there's a Hancock building, a Sears Tower, yeah, or right. whatever they call it now. They yeah. changed the name. I think it's Willis Tower now. Yeah. So. Yeah. And the oh, bridge good. arch almost creates a, like a contrail behind him. Yeah. 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 And real nice bright primary color. And he's got this nice yellow satchels on his bike. Yeah. So it worked out pretty well. And that's Sue. Uh, she used to be in the main rotunda downstairs in uh, the Field Museum of Natural History. Now they've got this really long one that's kind of like the old Dino the dinosaur with the long neck and a really long tail oh yeah oh, yeah. down there now so they moved her upstairs and gave her kind of her own exhibit room and going towards it, there was lots of dinosaurs that they had uh I, I, they must have had about another 12 or 14 skeletons that were up for display which was pretty cool yeah. and there was a class uh of students for the art institute that were uh you know doing pencil sketches of them which was mm. Watch. Uh, yeah. There's a fabulous dinosaur museum here in Alberta. It's called the Royal Terrell Museum. Ah, it's, oh. it's located out in the Badlands, and that's where they find a lot of, a lot of the skeletons oh. out there. A lot of the fossils. Ah, cool. Yeah. Oh. And then you've got that other one south of you. What is it? Smashing Heads, where they used to drive the uh, Smashing Head. Uh, yeah. Smash. Ed then Buffalo Jump. So yeah, it's called. yeah, where they used to drive the buffaloes off the wall. Yeah. yeah. We found that fascinating when we were yeah. going, you know. This was in the Japanese exhibit, and this was just kind of like a quiet room. Oh, that was kind of cool. It's a lot of monoliths and stuff. And then I Took it oh, away like for your class tomorrow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I added some fog. Yeah. yeah. I think that helps. Yeah, I think I like that better. Just just so as you know, Wendell, uh, Tuesday's a golfing day for me. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. Uh, I guess. We when you're back down here, why well, maybe, or yeah, still golf on Tuesdays. Uh, I can't remember when we golf, to be honest with you, but um, we're coming back down on the 20th of October. So, oh, you'll be back soon. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, so this is uh, in the, uh, the new building in the Art Institute, just kind of looking across. Um, hmm. there's, there's a gangway like, like this on both sides. I'm standing on the one on this side. And uh, then there's there's galleries that go this way, you know. There's like an atrium in the middle here, but it stops where I am. So basically, uh, uh, on my side, there's there's galleries behind me and and to the left and right of me. Mm. Uh, they had a David Hockney show, but it wasn't the kind of paintings I'm used to seeing from him. They were more kind of uh, almost uh, almost like finger painting. They kind of mm. looked. Uh, yeah, it was not, not quite what I expected. Not like those pool scenes and beautiful mm. uh, vistas that he did. But I, I just kind of like the way that people were walking around. And just, uh, yeah. uh, I mean, yeah, it looks amazing. Yeah, uh, space. And the colors are almost like a, a watercolor. Uh -huh. Muted tones, I guess. Yeah. That's neat. And that's right. in the old public library, which is now the cultural center in uh, Michigan yeah. Randolph. They have two different ones. Um, I kind of like this one, cut glass. Yeah. All the yeah. little ones going around. That was kind of fun. Yeah. I think that's it. Let me just check here. Yeah, the rest is for another time. I've gotten it the butterflies again, so. Hmm. Well, I can show you one or two of those. What the heck? Yeah, yeah their butterflies are going oh. crazy here lately. Oh, lovely. Yeah. 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 It's just all different kinds. Oh, right. Just out in the backyard? Or? Yeah, actually, yeah, uh, in the front or the side yard. But, uh, you know, yeah, the Bird of Paradise are, uh, are out in full. Mm -hmm. this, this guy was injured, but I really like the color. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And just another angle. Uh, I'm, I've been shooting with that 500 lens because I noticed that I was out there with my iPhone and you just can't get that close so they take off. Mm -hmm. so, um, yeah. so I got the 500 and backed off and it was uh, a lot easier. Mm -hmm. and then, oh, yeah. I think the five, even the 100 macro, I would have been a lot closer. So, so yeah. Yeah, pretty well. Yeah, I think this is one of my favorite ones. Just, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you've got like a pyramid there. Yeah. Warm colors at the bottom, topped uh -huh. by the, the blues uh, yeah. wings. Yeah. Nice shade of blue. Yeah. Oh, and then you can see all the pollen all over them. It's pretty neat. Yeah. But I, I really like what it does to the background. It just mm -hmm. kind of swirls it around. That's kind of fun. And this one was pretty bright. I just took it down. I, I think I like it with the lower lower key lighting. That's with the higher key. Nice. Yeah. Well, what can I f stops were you using on this? Uh, I think I was 7.1 and I started speeding up. So originally, I think I had a, about a 160 or 200 of a second shutter speed. And then I, on this one, I think I went up to two or uh, two or 320. I kicked it up a little more just to see if I could stop a little better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Still got a little, nice. little bit of motion, but yeah. 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 So Very nice. yeah. Just did that the other day. But yeah, the trip to Chicago was kind of fun. Oh, and then this is just the bottom of a glass of water I had on the table. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw it and grab my phone. Said, That's kind of fun. <laughs> see the water here <laughs> it's amazing what you see isn't it, it really yeah is. it's refracting all these colors so mm -hmm. yeah so that's kind of what i've been doing yeah so i'm gonna play around with this a little more and maybe mid-journey online but read up a little bit more about the prompts because uh i think that's what really separates yeah. uh, the garbage from the really nice stuff mm -hmm. yeah getting the right prompts in there yeah. Okay. Let me uh, oh. stop. Sure. Stop recording.